How are you feeling tonight, my sweetheart? I hope you had a good Christmas and are still in a happy and peaceful mood. I know that sometimes we can get overwhelmed, especially around Christmas, but I hope that you have found peace and joy in remembering that your Savior was born for you and for all. Remembering that he is always there. Remembering that we should look for him in all that we do and always be waiting for his arrival. Not just at Christmas. New Year's is just around the corner and we can have fun with that too. I know that the new year brings with it many unknowns, but we do know that Christ will be there for us every year that comes along. Waiting to see what's next can be daunting, but knowing that you are not alone, well, that can make you feel safe and secure. That reminds me of the man named Simeon who was waiting for the baby Jesus, the Savior, to arrive at the temple when Mary and Joseph had to bring him in to abide by Jewish law. It was important for them to travel to the temple to fulfill the laws set forth in Leviticus, the laws to purify Mary from childbirth, to circumcise Jesus, and to consecrate her firstborn son. So as you get ready for bed tonight, let's remember to be like Simeon, to always be on the lookout, and to always be patiently waiting on the Lord. Let's get you into bed so you can relax and get ready to fall asleep. Are you all comfy and cozy? Here, let me tuck you in. Can you feel that soft pillow and sheets against your skin? Good. Let's start by getting relaxed like we usually do. Let's relax your entire body. Wiggle your jaw and relax those tight jaw muscles. Relax your neck and your shoulders by wiggling them into a comfy spot too. Relax your arms and your hands and wiggle your fingers and get them relaxed. Relax your back, your legs, your feet, and now your toes. Wiggle them and get all relaxed. Okay, so let's start with the slow, deep breaths that always help us fall asleep. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. Now breathe it out. Let's take another deep breath in. Hold it. Now blow out all of your troubles and relax your shoulders as you breathe out. Good. Now that you are completely relaxed, let's listen to Luke chapter 2, 21 through 35. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise him, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given to him before he had been conceived. When the time of their purification according to the law of Moses had been completed, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. 
when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, The child is destined to cause the falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. You know, Simeon waited patiently by the temple to see the baby Jesus. We too need to be patient. If there are prayers that have gone unanswered or problems that you are facing and are waiting to be resolved, be sure that Jesus knows your prayers and your problems and he is working in the background. You need to wait patiently. When Simeon saw the baby Jesus, he was at peace and knew that this baby would bring light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory to the people of Israel. So remember that you are saved by grace and are adopted into Jesus' family and are a part of his kingdom. Knowing that alone should give you peace, not only as you sleep tonight, but throughout your whole life. Sleep tonight knowing that you are saved, knowing that you are loved, knowing that you are protected and will be guided by him throughout your whole life. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we are thankful that you came to earth as an innocent and helpless baby so that you could live the life we live and know our hardships. We are thankful that you came to save us all and that you are always protecting us day and night. Help us to be patient. Help us tonight to sleep in peace and awake to a new day that is filled with your love and protection. In your name we pray, amen. Tonight, dream of waiting for Jesus and feel the joy as you see him finally arrive. Feel his love and presence. Bask in his glory and compassion. Sleep knowing that you are protected always and you are loved beyond measure. Sleep in God's constant protection. Just sleep. Fall deeply asleep and know you are safe. You are in his hands. Good night, sweetheart.